Hello guys, so in this video we will be going to see how we can attach a domain name with CloudFront. Okay, so basically what I have done till now is like I have uh, created a uh, React application basically and uh, uploaded it to AWS S3 and then after attached a CloudFront domain with that S3 bucket. Okay, so now you can see like on the AWS CloudFront URL I can able to access the website. Okay, so basically here is the CloudFront distribution. Okay, so now I have uh, a domain name with AWS masterchef.in that I wanted to attach with this distribution. Okay, so as in first step what you have to do obviously you have to purchase a domain name that I think you have already purchased if not so you can like purchase it from any 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 domain provider like GoDaddy or maybe from AWS or any other okay so once you are done what you have to do you have to like create an public hosted zone inside the AWS S3 okay so what you have to do you have to search for route 53 AWS service and then after you have to come to the hosted zone and then after you have to click on create hosted zone and select make sure you select the public hosted zone okay so inside the domain name at the same domain name that you have purchased from the GoDaddy. Okay, so I have purchased AWS MasterChef.in. So I already have this uh, created and hosted zone with AWS MasterChef.in. Okay, so it takes a little time to update all the configuration. So this is the reason I have already done this step. So I will go inside it. So again, enter the same domain name that you have purchased. Description is optional. Then after inside the type, you can add public public hosted zone. Okay. So once this is done, you would be able to see an entry with, with the name of your domain name and uh, uh, it would kind of uh, look like this. So you have to go inside it and then after inside the in, uh, like inside the records, you would be able to see a record with name the domain name type is NS, which is basically name servers. And then after it has some four values. Okay. So what we have to do, we have to copy those four values and we have to, to enter those values inside the uh, domain provider on the side of name provider okay so once you go inside the details of the domain name inside the dns go inside the name servers and then after click on change name servers okay so i have already done this step also so what you have to do i think like for in your case it is going to be godaddy name servers okay so but you have to select i will use my own name servers and copy one by one all the name servers all the four values and then just after enter it okay make sure you don't copy a dot at the last it will otherwise it will give this error and then after once you add all the four name servers you have to click on save button and that's it so it will after this like once you are done with this changing name server it will going to take at least six hours or maybe more than it but for me it's uh, kind of uh, like it started to work after six hours so once you are done let's wait for six hours and then after uh, kind of name servers are updated successfully okay so by telling this basically what we are telling once good once we are sending any request to aws masterchef.in or any subdomain like xyz dot aws masterchef.in or maybe application dot aws masterchef.in for any subdomain if re request has been sent it will redirect this request to the aws route 53 okay so by by adding this name servers we are telling this to GoDaddy basically. Okay. So once you are done with this, <clears throat> as a next step, what we have to do, we have to go to the cloud front. Inside the cloud front, we have to go inside the general tab only and we have to add an uh, alternative domain name basically. Okay. So for that perspective, we have to edit it. Then after it is asking for alternative C name. So I will going to copy this from here and then after I will add it aws masterchef.in and let's say you wanted to access or access this on app.aws masterchef.in so whatever domain name you wanted to access you can add that here okay so once this is done uh, i think you can add multiple as well so for now let's i will just keep the single one only after that you ha you have to create an ssl certificate okay so for that ssl certificate what you can do you can utilize acm service okay so acm is basically aws certificate manager that allows you to create certificates for free okay you don't need any cost for that you don't have to pay any cost for that okay so what i have to do basically i have to request a certificate i have to request a public certificate i will click on next then after it is asking for the do qualified domain name so i will be going to add aws masterchef.in and i will add one more 
entry with star dot aws master chef dot in okay so it will it will be like wild wild card certificate so let's say if i wanted to access anything on app dot xyz dot aws master chef dot in then this certificate will work for us okay then after it is asking for validation method just keep this as dns validation and then after keep all the configuration as default okay so after that i will go inside the view certificate so this certificate is i have already created but here i am showing for the demo perspective okay so then after it is saying the validation is pending so for a uh, kind of uh, validate this what we have to do we have to click on create record and write to route 53 route 53 okay so i will just click it here then after it is asking for both the we have to select both i think it is by default already selected and then after we have to click on create record okay so once this is done the record has been created successfully so it will take a little time i think okay so now it has been i think already uh, verified mm, uh, how would i okay so it is i think most probably this one yeah so this is the one i think april 30 507 yeah so this is the one and now you can see the status as success okay so basically now pending the status has been changed from pending for approval to success state okay so this is how we we have created the certificate okay so once the certificate is done what we have to do we again go back to cloudfront and inside the choose certificate we can select any certificate okay so so both are aws master chef dot in basically but right away i have created the cf1 so i will be going to select this one only cf1 right so the the reason being is i have like uh, just testing this before this video so i have this two certificate but one is enough okay then after it is asking for security policy i will keep all the configurations default and then after i will just click on save changes okay so now this is in the deploy deploying stage so as in next step next step what we have to do we have to create an entry inside the route 53 okay so basically i will go inside the route 53 hosted zone then after i will click on like, go inside the just hosted zone aws master chef dot in then after i will click on create record inside the create record i will have to kind of attach this with the cloud friend okay so i will use this in alias make sure you have selected record type as a let's say if i wanted to attach app dot aws master chef dot in i can add subdomain but for now i just wanted to attach the root domain only okay so i will keep blank to create a record for root domain so i will keep this as blank then after i have to choose the endpoint so i have to select cloud front distribution then after inside the distribution in aws master chef dot in so this will be listed out like if you haven't haven't attached this this uh, alternate domains name domain name it will not be going to list out here okay list out here so make sure this 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 has been successfully attached so i will going to select this i will create record so record has been created so view status if i click like status is in pending state so it will take i think not more than 60 seconds so i will keep the video running so once this is done ideally the application should be accessible on aws master shop dot in or if not so it will take a little time might be i think up to five minutes ten minutes not more than it but after that application should be accessible okay so 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 if i meanwhile it is like just uh doing the replicating the changes i will again reiterating the flow first we have to create an hosted zone public hosted zone copy the name servers to the godaddy domain name third step would be attaching uh, the cloudfront domain name for that perspective we have to create an ssl certificate uh, using acm service and once this is done yeah you have to create an, a, a record inside the uh, public zone and uh, once this is done you you would be able to access the application okay so now it is in sync so i will go here and i will just enter it so it will take a little time i think i will close this tab i will open it yeah so now you can see this the website is able to i am able to access this website on aws master chef dot in okay so this is how you can use your basically you can attach domain name with the cloud fund distribution okay so if you have any queries or comment or feedback for me do post it down in the comment section thank you and keep subscribing to channel